the challenges of maneuvering. No. I kind of angled myself. Around Jeanette Aragon's house can be seen on every chipped corner and scratch wall. I have cerebral palsy, so my first chair was given to me at the age of six. A power chair that offered opportunity and danger far more than dings and dents. During the period of me getting used to driving a power chair, I fell off the stage completely. Tight spaces, super easy to misjudge things, and these, these chairs can be tipped with just a couple inches. The solutions to maneuvering just might be found in this warehouse in Arvada. It's not going to let him hit me. Jared Dean co-founded Lucy with the mission of helping people drive their wheelchairs safely. My whole background is product development. Um, and it's really cool when you get to work on a project and it's really going to help somebody and, and help somebody you care about deeply. His niece, Catherine, in Tennessee, was having trouble maneuvering her power wheelchair. Dean and his brother Barry thought they could just tweak something already out there. They were wrong. It wasn't being done. Nobody else was working on it. And so then we sort of felt like it was our obligation to push forward and, and make it available for everyone. There's this frame we call the smart frame that goes down here on the base. Jared and his brother Barry invented their own system of sensors. And then ultrasonics and then radars. Which help the chairs drive like a Tesla. The technology we're using is absolutely comparable to a self-driving car. I would like finally something that is coming out. Jeanette says she can't see around her. I call it my lookout. But the millimeter wave radar. Lucy users can use this and see all the way around their wheelchair. Has become her eyes. And so yeah, as I move around, that's Lucy tracking me. And her confidence. That's where it stops me. Lucy prevents her from running into things because I know a lot of people don't choose to have a power chair for that reason of fear. If Matt here drives at this step, Lucy's actually gonna stop him from going off this step. Jared says he and his brother went through many versions. There are different values used for the motor control. And they're constantly making improvements thanks to help from a local university. CU Denver has been involved early, early days. Jared and his team wanted input from occupational therapists like Becky Bro. I think for some people, it could be life changing. She works at University of Colorado Denver's Center for Inclusive Design and Engineering. I think for us at CU Denver, I mean, it's super exciting to be part of this partnership. And I personally, I really appreciate that they value our voices. And the thoughts from therapy clients like okay. Jeanette. I've been working with the Lucy team since December, giving them my feedback on what they need to work on. The unique collaboration has apparently been successful. Lucy was named one of Time Magazine's Innovations of the Year for 2020. Yep, that's us right here. The future of maneuvering. The wheelchair riders we're working with are not interested in an autonomous wheelchair. This is their legs. Um, they're interested in independence. And that subtle twist is really important. Important, like inventing something new for his niece, Catherine. Important, like finding a way for Jeanette to feel safe. This technology has become revolutionary. With photojournalist Tom Cole, Nelson Garcia, 9 News.